Hi guys, this morning we had 303 updates. So that's quite a bit. And mostly all of it was Python. So let me make another video about Python. I saw already some of the references, but not really all. So what I'll do is go to a virtual machine and update my system. And this is just a wallpaper, right? <laughs> It is the wallpaper. Hold N. Yeah. The humor of the guys, right? Update. So, look at that. In one night, you wake up in the morning and you say, what? And yes, this breaks things because there's a lot of Python stuff in here. And that's what this video is about. And we have a special channel for it on Discord. Changes after an update, right? This is the place to say, hey, variety doesn't work, speed test doesn't work, and all the apps that depend on a certain version of Python will not work, need to be rebuilt. I started at seven, it's now 8.27. It takes one hour and a half to upgrade around 15 packages. Qt was down as well. Qt is based on Python, so Everything needs to fit together like pieces in a puzzle. You can't just squeeze one in and uh, that will not work. So that's basically why I'm here to share you one little thing. And that's a command. Let's wait for him to update and then we see what happens, right? In the meantime, there he is. So yeah, if you maybe you did not notice, we installed the Xenot LTS kernel. There are gems hidden away on your system in the main, in kernels. You choose to run this one or that one or that one or that one. It even hasn't been updated yet, I see. When I do a skill, read what it says, follow the URL there, check it out. But when I do this, I get another folder. So you want to go to Linux LTS to Xenot or back to Linux. It's all, all, it's all there. All the, well, major kernels. There are other kernels. No, we have 11 kernels to choose from. So one of them will work. Now we need to reboot, right? SR is still our way to reboot. Sudo reboot, but sudo not being necessary anymore. It's in the fingers, SR. And if everything is working, that's dandy right in the morning you don't expect things to crash but with major python updates things and certainly cute how red it's based on python every package should be updated if one is falling behind it might break and then you end up in a beautiful SEDM. you can't log into qtile you go or it's a black screen with a mouse which i had this morning or you get thrown back so it crashes and SDM catches you. So it's not SDM that's not working, it's what's behind that's not working. And thanks to SDM, you're back on SDM. He called the error and he said, okay, back to the SDM then. So the code I would like to share is Pacman minus Q O Q, right? If all of this is what is that? 2ZSH, right? You log out. Do I know these things? Of course not. Pfft. Who cares? You need it once, twice a year. That's it. Why I'm going here? Because when I type pseudo pacman minus Q and I press tab, that's the choices. Oh, query the package that owns a file. Oh, okay. And then a Q. And then we're going to type what so another query, but like this. And then you just go to lib <coughs> Python. So there are certain versions on your system. In this case, <laughs> I don't have any anymore, thanks to the work of uh, one hour and a half this morning. So there is no 10 left. So the old ones, the old version, from moving from 10 to 11. So there are only 11 today which is, well, not educational for you guys, but you type site packages 
And these guys are all depending on the newer version, which is good, which is okay. But it was the 10 version that was a problem, right? So remember this little bit of code, QOQ, QOQ, right? And then navigate to the Python library and choose your number. Within 20 years, it will be 3. Point, maybe 4.5 or I don't know, right? It goes on, these numbering. But each time, all the packages that depend on a certain ver version need to be updated. That means if you have such a package, you do a yay, and then the package name, I don't know, right? The package name, the list that you get here, that's the package name you need to rebuild. And you go to the AOR, choose a number that's yours, and say build it again. All right. That's it for me, sharing the command. And um, there you go. You will have zero issues at this point in time, but an hour and a half, well, basically somewhere tonight or this, this morning, right? Last night, something happened. Well, the update, the major update came in and packages need to be rebuilt. Remember that. Cheers.